guys welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before so today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my most used products of 2022 slash my favorite products starting with brows the elf instant lift brow pencil is definitely a most used favorite of this year because I had to buy a second one I used up my entire one that I had and I bought a second one and I'm already I guess not that far but I've used quite a bit already of it and I have mine in the shade neutral brown because this color as you guys can tell works really well with both sides of my hair the blonde and the brown and it's just a very like neutral color for me so I do quite enjoy this it's also extremely affordable I will have to say the revolution brow soap the soap and care has definitely been in most used because look at this it's like almost empty I've completely gone through the middle and I've used quite a bit around the sides and the only reason I haven't been using it recently is because of how used it is and so maybe halfway through the year I switch to the NYX the brow glue which also you guys might be able to tell is almost empty so um both of these i have used up quite a bit throughout the year they're both so so good today i used the revolution brow soap because it has been a minute since i've used it but then my nyx brow glue ever since the day i got it i've used this almost every single day and it's almost gone and yes it is a small little product but it's so so good and it doesn't take a lot probably the best soap brow I've tried and then this is the best brow glue I've had there is one foundation that really stands out to me over all of my other foundations it is also now almost empty I think it feels pretty empty it is my go-to for when I go out it is my go-to for dinners it is my go-to for pretty much every day if I have to leave the house for anything because I know it's going to last and stay looking nice on my skin all day. And that's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This I have used so, so much this year and last year. And yes, it's probably expired by now, but it doesn't smell weird or anything, so I'm gonna keep using it. I have mine in 1N0 Porcelain, and this is still just such... A good foundation I will definitely be repurchasing it when I run out I've used this foundation I'd say over 50% of the time when I do my makeup I have tried quite a few foundations this year and I have found some new favorites but if I need makeup to last all day I'm going to pick this always for bronzer I have two the one I'm wearing today is the revolution bronzer reloaded and holiday romance the packaging is looking so rough but I absolutely love this bronzer it is my favorite powder bronzer that I have because of the baked formula I feel like it just gives me a very slight sheen to my bronzer and I feel like that's what you need in a bronzer having some like glow in your bronzer that simple glow really just brings my makeup together and really warms up my face and brings my face back to life after my foundation then the bronzer honorable mention is the refi cream bronzer and i was using this so so much when i first got it like it is so used and it was still my favorite bronzer up until recently when I started using the Merit Beauty bronzer and it's just like a little bit of an easier application than this. But this bronzer is so good and I would highly recommend it to everybody. I have mine in the shade Sand. I feel like this bronzer is a little bit more of a summer thing for me. I definitely think in the summer I will go back to using this. Most of the year, this was my favorite bronzer and a lot of last year, if not my favorite bronzer of last year. Then concealer, because I forgot it. Um, this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is my new one and it's almost completely empty. I literally had to repurchase this within the last year. I rarely will use other concealers. I still love this concealer so much. I have mine in the shade Fair Warm. And it doesn't matter if I'm doing a simple makeup look or I'm doing a full face of makeup, full glam. I want this concealer always because it's so, 
so good. This is such a staple in my collection and I will probably be using this forever. For blush, there was one blush that stood out to me or blush palette, I should say. And maybe it's because it's a palette that I've used it the most, but I've used like specific colors the most. And it's the Laura Lee Blush Aesthetic Palette. I love this palette so much. And of course, it's a blush palette, so it has so many more options in it. But specifically, Bridal Pink and Tiger Lily, which are the two that I used today, those mixed together make my perfect blush shade that I haven't really felt the need to buy a whole lot of blushes this year. I think I've only bought maybe three blushes this year, but like this blush palette is so stunning and I have used almost every single shade. Um, I don't think I've used Sangria, but that's just because it's such a deep purple that it's not really for my skin tone and Golden Haze. I don't really add that to my blush because I prefer a matte blush, but I've used almost every single shade in here all year long, and I just I just run to this palette that just has like so many shades that you need, and you can mix them together and make a custom shade, which is what I do, and I love this blush. I feel like it's the perfect peachy pink blush for me. Definitely the best blush I've tried all year. For a highlighter, I have noticed that I have gotten away from my Ofra highlighter. As you guys may have known if you've watched any of my favorites videos, Ofra Moondance has been in my favorites for the past two or three years. I'm not really sure how long, but it has been my favorite highlighter. But more recently, there's a highlighter that I've been leaning towards and I think I've used way more than my Ofra Moondance this year. And that is the Nabla Skin Glazing in Ozone. This highlighter is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my entire life. I had never really heard of the brand Nabla and so I wanted to try this highlighter and like the packaging is really cute. It's just like the soft pink clear packaging. The highlighter itself is so reflective. It's so glittery without being glittery if that makes any sense just so beautiful I love a blinding reflective highlight and that's exactly what this is and I feel like it gives me more of a glittery glow but without it being like chunky it glitters and I just got it because I was like that looks pretty so the eyeliner that has stuck out to me the most and I think I had to repurchase one of these recently is the elf expert liquid liner i have mine in jet black and this liner is one of the first eyeliners i ever tried this is probably like my seventh one i'm just taking a wild guess i know that i've bought so so many of these it's just so good it's so pigmented the brush is so fine and applying it is just so easy for me and maybe it's because it was one of the first eyeliners I ever used that it makes it so easy but I feel like I don't know it, it's called expert liquid liner but I don't think you have to be an expert to apply this and I know that a few years ago I kind of made the switch to felt tip liners but this year I have really swung right back to brush tip eyeliners maybe it's because I just need to get new ones and they're just drying out I don't know but there's just something about having a brush tip liner in a little pot that I feel like one makes it last a lot longer than like a felt tip liner, you know, like a, like a pencil liner. I don't know how to explain it, but when it's not like in the little pot, like this one is, there's something about this that I feel like makes it last longer. This is incredibly affordable. And like I said, I think I've bought probably somewhere from seven to 10 but that's in like the five years that I've really been doing my makeup, maybe six, five to seven years that I've actually been doing makeup. And as of right now, it is my most used eyeliner. It is the one that I just dropped in my lap. It is the most used eyeliner of 2022 for me. And if you guys haven't already noticed, there is a lot of e.l.f. in this video and that's because e.l.f. is still standing strong as like my favorite makeup brand. They're just so affordable and the quality is so good for the price that just like, e.l.f. just really does it right. I'm, I'm just saying, e.l.f. does everything right. <laughs> Again, I skipped over a product and that is setting spray. I'm gonna have to go with my e.l.f. dewy setting mist because 
I bought this this year and it's halfway empty. Can you guys see that? I love this. This is my third, third or fourth one of these. This is the new packaging. Um, it used to be in like a long tan bottle, which I actually preferred, but that's okay. Um, it's the like coconut scented one. I love this so, so much. And it's been my favorite for probably like three years. <laughs> this is one of my absolute favorites of all time, if not my favorite of all time. There's just something about this setting mist. It smells amazing, it smells like coconut, and it always makes my skin look really good. Although I will say, when they got the new packaging, I feel like something in the formula changed. I don't feel like it makes my skin as dewy as it used to. Like I feel like my face used to look drenched after I used this, and I don't feel like it does that anymore. I don't know, there's just something about it, and I've used this halfway through already, and I've definitely purchased it in the last year, so it has to be my favorite slash most used because I've used half of it, and I definitely have not used half of any of my other ones. For lips, I again, have like the same lip products. Um, I'm not a glossy girl this year. I've been wearing matte lipsticks pretty much constantly. Um, and I've been wearing my favorite lip combo, which is the Kylie Cosmetics Dulce K lip liner and the NYX Cosmetics Lace Detail Lip Laundry. This has been my favorite lip combination for years. I still love it so much. I still think that it looks incredible. I think it is like my perfect nude lip shade. It's everything to me. There's just something about having like this slightly like brownie nude lip liner with the combination of the like dusty pink lipstick and it being matte and it just being beautiful. I love it so much. But I do have a lipstick honorable mention and that is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Liquid Lipstick in Skimpy. This is such a good lipstick, and it is a little bit more comfortable than this one. This one is slightly drying, not bad at all, but this one's a little bit more hydrating than the NYX lipstick, but I have worn this one a lot this year. It's just, I go for this one if I want a more pink lip and not so like nude and dusty. I will go with this because it's a lot more of like a brighter pink. And as you guys can probably tell, it's much more of a brighter pink. But um, they're both really great nude lipstick shades. And they're both like my perfect nude shades. I haven't worn a lot of colorful lipstick this year. I haven't worn a lot of color at all. And like I, maybe I should. Maybe into next year I'll have a lot more color in my life. But for now, I'm sticking to the nudes. Okay, I think that's all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful if you're looking for new products. Like, hopefully it was helpful to see the products that I have used all year long. And they have not let me down a single time. These are, like, the creme de la creme of products for me. These are the staples in my makeup products. These are the repurchase products. These are the products I run to time and time again. They are my most used. They are my favorites. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate that. I post new videos every week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!